Hello everybody and welcome back to Comstock Farm and Bake a Cake Challenge. Yeah, as you can see, we are in the next <laughs> game day that I left you last time. But the uh, thing is, the sugar beet wasn't ready to harvest today. So I just uh, thought that I will do a couple of contracts and skip this day. But yeah, then I got <laughs> somehow, somehow enjoyed my playing and do, doing this whole sorts of stuff so quite a bit has happened today so as you can see money has gone up quite a bit and uh, as you saw on the intro I can't even remember what what I um, put in the intro there was a whole lot of stuff that I did so let's get on with the list a little bit so uh, slurry I put deliver to the BGA one trailer of 15,000 liters so that is going on there we are getting nice money again out of that out of that BGA and hopefully next time we will also be able to deliver some manure there and uh, I also delivered 8,000 liters of 8,600 liters of milk to the dairy so now the butter is uh, full in the bakery and uh, we are doing also cheese over there so cheese and uh, and the butter so that is pretty good and then the contracts so I did one one uh, herbicide spraying contract on the field 18 I, I think the <laughs> they are only the same fields are popping out to me oh what am I doing popping out to me on the contract so I'm just working on all on those same fields all the time so so 18 I did the spraying contract then I harvested the the corn harvest I got two fields to harvest so I got field 1 which gave me 28,000 and field 16 which gave me 21,000 and then we got uh, quite a bit of extra crop out of those on, uh, on field 1 we get uh, 27,000 liters and field 16 I got 17,000 so let's take a quick look here uh, what what is so we got 45,000 liters of corn ready to be for the uh, for the stage three so that is pretty good I think I'm holding on to those and then I got a fertilizer contract on field 18 that gave me 27,000 and a couple of cultivating contracts again field one and field 16 so those gave me together uh, 49,000 yeah, so, and also we sold our best, best uh, products to sell we got, we got 10,000 out of this morning's, uh, today, uh, this game day morning's product sale, so that was pretty good. Yeah, and uh, I think we are running out of flour, so we are make, have, have made a whole lot of flour. We are out of wheat on there on the grain mill, so yeah, uh, and uh, we have only 27,000 liters left of uh, what was it? Hang on, hang on, let's see, let's see what was it. I can't remember. Yeah, oats. So this is pretty much dry now, and uh, nothing is coming in. Let's take a look. Yeah. So I think everything is harvested. So. Luckily, I have on this. I'll leave this here and yeah, I will do this off camera. So yeah, uh, luckily I have on the warehouse, as you remember, in the beginning of this series. So I have there a whole lot of flour for the winter to make those cakes and also the bread. So I was pretty much, you know, looking into the future over there on that one yeah so what else uh, yeah I decided to on this yeah 
game day I had a time left on this on the day so I decided the uh, you know the, the grass drying facility has had a little low on grass so I mowed the uh, area uh, near the uh, shop that's mowed now and uh, also I decided to utilize this secret field on the near the chicken coop so but I will I will uh, do this arable field and obviously I will put sugar beet in this one yeah that's what I'm gonna do so we are going to get a whole lot of hopefully a whole lot of sugar sugar beets and uh, as you can see on the uh, map here we don't have any other field sugar beets than our own so that is a little bit disappointment I was hoping that we could do up or at least one contract on, on, on these but no but it is what it is so I decided I will do arable field get this grass to the dryer and uh, actually this load is the final load and then it is full I think the uh, trailer doesn't even fit on the uh, on the on the dryer it's it's totally full and uh, but I will gather this and uh, do this field uh, probably during the winter time so we have plenty of time you know to the uh, March so no hurry on this yeah so I think that is pretty much it what, I, what I've done but uh, yeah and today came the uh, uh, new truck mod and I'll be a little bit waiting for that so that is really cool looking and obviously it's a Volvo Volvo truck so as you can remember I leased that man and that is being getting our money a little bit down every day 1200 so I don't know I don't know a really, little bit tempted to get that truck and uh, I just I just want it you know you know how it is you know I missed a bit and I will take that take those over there but anyway uh, I will windrow this to the finish get these tractors uh, to the uh, at least one to the yard and one to this one to the PGA and we will just get grass out of here when when we are running out of, of there but I'm not in a no hurry to you know yeah, gather this which and we can just collect here when we need so we got probably I don't know maybe we got two trailer loads left here so yeah but anyway um, I think uh, I will see you at the uh, at the bakery after this so, so yeah I will see you there too. okay here we are I also filled the uh, BGA with the silage so that is good to go for the night and luckily the uh, one trailer just fitted into the dryer so yeah we are slowing down with this production quite a bit yeah and uh, here is my stacking I'm really <laughs> I'm pretty proud of this what I've done but I can show you how how am I doing this because on this challenge on the stage 3 you have to manually lo load uh, two trailers of these uh, kernel sites with the uh, cereals so this is the technique <laughs> that I've that I've uh, fine-tuned as I say I'm, I'm getting getting pretty fast with it but now when I'm when I'm obviously recording everything goes totally south but first thing is I will just push a little bit this together if there's eight or whatever there is I will just put push them together and then just lift this other one in top of top of the other and if it, if it doesn't you know go just go uh, just in the top you can with this guy you can move this side to side so this is pretty easy and uh, this feature I have been 
I'll be you know using on, on the uh, filling the uh, curtain side so now this is pretty easy because there's no spawning pallet sometimes they spawn just under the uh, if you're not really fast so. and then just lift a little bit you don't have to lift whole lot so weight weight point stays down yeah and actually I have done this in real life I'm happy when I was young I had a summer job a couple of years I drove a little bit bigger one forklift than this but pretty much the same kind and obviously in real life you shouldn't do what I'm what I'm gonna do so I'm just lining up this like so and in, in this game this is you know you can't see so good so a little bit different and then I will just push them like so line them up there and down and as you can see there's a gap now but not to worry I move this on the other side like so and then we go oh, a little bit further let's go so that it's straight yeah this would you wouldn't do in real life so, and then we put a little notch <laughs> like so and back and then we go to the upper one and just a little notch there also like so oh now it's now it's not good let's see it's a little bit uh, you know I'm just a you know perfect and it's like that so I'm an idiot <laughs> let's try it a little bit higher maybe it was a little bit too close like so now now it's good when I took the other strap off yeah neat and tidy neat and tidy yeah this looks great so here is a little gap but I don't mind I, I bet they're gonna fit 64,000 liters of this trailer if we have enough flour out there and uh, yeah uh, if some of you haven't seen the earlier episodes I have here you know little storage warehouse for the flour so there we go it's a single pallet but uh, you can lift with that forklift you, you can actually fit, lift six of these on top of each other if we had a little bit higher trailer I would do six, six at a one go but uh, I will try another technique or way to load this this uh, this uh, curtain side trailer uh, when I'm going to do the serial so that is something interesting to see I, I will probably need to practice it or test it a little bit off camera or I don't know I don't know but anyway um, I think the uh, day is now pretty much done so I will see you in the morning and uh, hopefully we got that uh, sugar beet feel ready to go and uh, I'm really tempted to get that you know that that truck yeah I don't know we'll see maybe maybe episode after that because I have to I have to buy the sugar meal also so a whole lot of money is going but there stands a little bit money over there but I'm gonna I'm gonna just fill it up all the way yeah but uh, I will see you in the morning okay good morning guys so uh, we are in a little bit of a hurry because as you can see we got rain coming so I will just leave this trailer here and we are gonna deliver this flour for the day a little bit later and also the bread and the uh, wedgie so yeah we need to get to the store and get that beet harvest going before nine o'clock because that that is bef uh, when when it is gonna happen so I will see you probably at the store 
Yeah, and also we're gonna today buy buy another batch of cows, and uh, we have already one one set uh, has given birth, so that is pretty good thing. The uh, amount of uh, cows is growing up nicely. And what else do we need to do today? Uh, I think that is pretty much it. Obviously spent a whole lot of money. <laughs> but it is what it is. But uh, yeah. I think I, I think I will see you at the cow farm. I will just get the cows now and uh, get them in. And also the TMR has uh, finished on there. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh dear, so that is nice, big, and now they are, you know, nice church music on there, uh, where is it here? So now they are consuming that hay, which is what I want, so I want to get it down to 10,000, but I need to be a little bit careful with that. And also we have a slurry over there, so that could be delivered deliver to also the BGA and as soon as possible because that is every hour is money out of our pockets if there's no no slurry on the BGA so I will see you when the cows are here all right so let's fill this this tanker up with this lorry and get into the PGA and empty this over there. Yeah, we got the new new ladies are waiting over there, ready to be released to the pen. All right, gotta move this a little bit further. A little bit wheel spin over there. Okay. Oh, who has left this open? I wonder who. Okay, I think we can put a worker going. Worker going here, and you can go. This is a good spot. Can't go inside. So that's a little shame. These guys in. I'm not even sure how, how many cows do we have now because uh, the new newborns and uh, these and I think we got something about I don't know, I, I'm not gonna even guess. Okay. 63 and 9. So, 72. Yeah, pretty good. It's growing, it's growing. Okay, so. Uh, what is next? I will, I will um, get that slurry to the uh, BGA tank and get that going and yeah, I think we can, we will see you at the uh, shop and uh, the rain is coming, 9 o'clock. Yeah, we gotta do something before that. No, but it's not so big field. So, you know, I think we can possibly, possibly do the whole field at one go. But you know, lots of money is going because I am gonna buy myself my own sugar beet harvester. Yeah, I'm crazy, but I. I am gonna do, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. 
Well, this is not looking good, so I will see you at the at the store. Okay, it took a while. I had to give a little TLC for this, our Optum because it was running low on diesel and also had a service a little bit, you know, greasing up places. So, yeah, one thing was uh, this uh, tether. We don't need it anymore. We can sell it away because we are trying that hay on the... Uh, on the uh, drying facility, so 9,000. That's not a lot because if we take a look up here, yeah, so 517,000 went there and we got 500,000 loan now. So I went to this Panther 2 at this point, so I'm gonna invest in this Sugar Peak technology a lot and uh, we are getting those Sugar Peak cuts on the uh, PGA and yeah, I think this will, this is a different thing. I, I have a, haven't, uh, you know, invested so much money ever on, on this, but uh, I want to try it. I think we're going to make well with the sugar and uh, things like that. And we don't need to know the, uh, this is so narrow, 2.7 meters, so we don't need to know trailer. And then we are with this, uh, with this uh, grain cart, uh, the uh, sugar beet carting cart and, uh, this is the new modded one, so now it's configured as a sugar beet and potato card, so it costs 50,000 extra. And, and uh, yeah, I can change this uh, to a manure and hold manure to the BG also with this guy. All right, so I think we fire up this one, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. This is great. I have been watching on YouTube this uh, in uh, Germany and Netherlands. This they, when they when they in real life make you know sugar beet harvest. So that is pretty neat thing to watch. And that is awesome. I think we need to fold that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lights on. They are going to the sky, but we don't have. Okay. <laughs> How are you supposed to drive like this? No, no, no. We, we we have to. Yeah, we have to go like this. Obviously, we don't have no, no lights, and this. Is oh shoot! Do we have a trailer? No. But it didn't uh, show as a compatible uh, 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 maybe I don't know or X or XL so this is the bigger one yeah I don't know I got the whole mo mod also and uh, that was pretty combinations yeah that one that's the bigger one so we gotta go like this well that's okay, but we need to try being lights. Okay, I will see you at the field, get the uh, sugar beet cart also, and the auger wagon, and we will start doing this harvest. All right, here we are. Yeah, we got weeds on, the, on that field, but don't worry, it's on purpose, because I left it there. I have a plan for those weeds. We are going to buy ourselves our own sprayer. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna just, uh, you know, get those rid of, rid of there. I know I'm gonna lose a little bit of a yield, but uh, yeah, it's a week, and we get this new system, and. Uh, I'm not gonna buy a 50,000 euro hoe or pound hoe for those weeds. I'm just gonna spray it and 
Yeah, but this guy, I did a little test. I bought that trailer and I came and I sold it back because I am pretty sure this is not supposed to transport like this. So I don't know what's going on with this guy. If I take a look on the on the front of the uh, harvester, if I detach the you know header, thing there comes with this plate which has own lights and things like that. So yeah, and if I connect it, it disappears. And when I fold this guy, you know the mar markers, warning signs, goes like that in front. But if I detach it now, then it flips over to the front and I can't uh, get it again attached. So it will, I had to reset it to the farm and I bought the trailer and it doesn't go in that. So I don't know what, what the uh, transport system is. If you know, please let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to transport it like this. Yeah, actually I'm 100% sure. So okay, now unfold this guy and let's do this like in real life you know that goes up absolutely great beacons can be off so now we need to you know take the uh, grapple crap steering so let's uh, put it on first I I get that grab steering it's no it's probably yeah it's on that guy and uh, on the other side we need to go that side so when the grab steering is on they use a whole lot less you know compaction on the uh, but they harvest like this so you know every wheel is in its own spot or line so that is how it's supposed to be done and it's just a you know normal but uh, I was a little disappointed on FS19 that uh, you know the workers don't drive like this like it's supposed to be driven so that would be awesome if if if, it, if they would harvest like that. And when we when we go to the end of the field, we turn to the other side of the gravel crab steering. Yeah, pretty sweet. With this massive machinery, I would bet that. Just a little bit moisture on the uh, on the ground. This will probably leave a road like deep, deep ditches on the on the field. Five thousand liters and we're not even full. You know, full on the uh, full row. And now we just swing it. On the other side, now we should have obviously put first this steering, you know, turning like that much faster. It doesn't turn turn well with the wrap steering. And now, like this. So we are, the tires are on the, uh, on this side and, yeah, but I think when I put the worker going now, it will go to the, the, uh, mode where the uh, cap turns. No, yeah, yeah, as you can see, yeah, I'm a little bit this mode, yeah. Same thing on FS19. I'm disappointed on this. I would really like to do that. Anyway, I need the worker going here, so 
I think um, we could make a little time lapse here and let's see how much of a, what kind of a yield we get get out of this see you a little bit late I don't want to say anything Cause if I do I might say the wrong words Oh no So keep my mouth shut and I listen Afraid I lose you if I didn't Can we find what we're missing And compromise Options, nothing's working. I'm out, I'm out of service. Come help me now. I'm fucking nervous. I'm trying, but can't, can't yeah, it starts raining now. And uh, yeah, we got here, I think we got about 100,000 liters, maybe a little bit over. But uh, we got through uh, around halfway, a little bit over, maybe. So and the rain will uh, stop, I think, about, yeah, 11 o'clock, seems to be, something like that. So, I think I will head to the, uh, head to the uh, bakery now and let's take a look how much do we get out of our products and see if we get a full load of flour all right guys so I calculated a little bit here and uh, got these uh, already couple of the loads to the, the to the uh, trailer and uh, I think we are not going to get the full load here so 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 uh, probably best will be that we I will call quits to the episode now and uh, wait until the uh, you know rain has stopped and uh, then we can see on the next one how much do we get out of those super beats and I will probably off camera just uh, you know build uh, the uh, sugar mill and also I want to get that um, sugar beet cut uh, what is it <laughs> processing unit so we will get also sugar beet cut to the BGA so that will be another income for us and uh, yeah just a uh, I don't need whole lot of sugar now but uh, I think uh, you know just to make that one cake so we can get this stage one completed so that's the main thing so yeah let's see how this goes we are just a little bit shy with the full trailer I think maybe maybe four or four pallets or something like that but they will come on the afternoon we only have 10,000 liters left on the flour of, on the mill so that is a little bit uh, you know it 
is what it is but we will get more hopefully so I want to thank you for watching watching and uh, please do subscribe to the channel we got this uh, really interesting dedicated server coming up multiplayer series me and my very very good friend Wasteland Gaming we have been planning this dedicated server for a whole lot of time and um, now it's coming together and we got four de content creators on the on the Angevin map and uh, yeah we gonna conquer the whole map but uh, really do subscribe and you will see how that series will start it will be really interesting i will see you later bye bye